Number 15. Car Taker Right now, you could have this creepy neighbor as a teacher. According to Redditor, it's not kind who tells a tale of someone breaking into his car at 2 a.m., which was parked outside his bedroom window. After hearing the noise, he and his partner peered out of the window to find two figures busting in. As the Redditor called the cops, his partner kept an eye on the culprits. One of the culprits drove away. The other continued to break into the car's interior, and at the same time, the Redditor's neighbor pulled out of his garage. When the police showed up, they found the car abandoned but completely dismantled four parts. As the police were writing up a report, a car passed by an adjacent street. The cars left and the neighbor returned about 15 minutes later. The Redditor and his partner watched out the window as the neighbor exited the vehicle, and so did somebody else, the man that had entered into their car. Of course, our friends rang up the cops again, who returned and attempted to knock on the neighbor's door, but no one answered. The cops said they couldn't do anything more that night. The next morning, the Redditor found a note on his car saying, Call me with a phone number. After doing a background check on the number and his neighbor's home address, they discovered the neighbor was a major faculty member at one of the city's top schools. The Redditor suggests that this might have something to do with the cops dragging their feet on the matter. According to him, I went to the station multiple times asking if they were looking into it. Nothing happened and it's been about six to seven months. The creepiest thing, the neighbor knows that he knows. I think it's time to move. Number 14. The Lurker As a child, did you ever have an experience that you weren't sure was real or not? Redditor MadGirl1975 has. When she was around five years old, her male adult neighbor always wanted to play with her, and for some reason her mom was okay with that. She thought the man was just a goofball. One reason to doubt that, in Mad Girl's words, he would also stand in the woods Michael Myers style and watch my aunt or mom work outside in the flowers. Definitely does not seem harmless, and as it would turn out, he wasn't. The Redditor woke up one summer night to find someone in her room. It was the man who climbed in through her open window. He approached her and touched her face. According to Mad Girl, he had leather gloves on and I can still smell the leather. After passing out from panic, she revived in order to scream, which is when he escaped. Although the Redditor is sure it was him, nothing ever happened to him. Because she was only six at the time, and it appears no one took her story seriously at the time. But I think we should take this story more seriously now. Number 13. The Breakdown This story's a blast, literally. Shared by Chop to Pieces. This user describes his neighbor who lived a few houses away with his dog and his wife. The neighbor was a bit of a recluse, avoiding people and was only ever seen when taking his dog out for a walk. Although his wife was a bit more social, he didn't like leaving his house. After a few years in the neighborhood, the wife divorced him and moved out, while the reclusive man stayed on with his dog. According to the user, his behavior didn't appear to decline. He was still strange, but not any more unusual than what had been so far established. That is, until one day, as the user was headed off to catch the bus to school, some of the neighbors were out on the street, which was not normal. The user returned home to find swarms of police cars, SWAT teams, and the entire street cordoned off and evacuated. When chopped to pieces met up with his parents, they explained everything. The man had intended to take all the lives of the neighbors and his own. In his own words, he flooded his entire basement with gasoline and in his garden shed, which was essentially a big pile of propane gas tanks tied together. In the next door neighbor's garbage can, another device was found, suggesting this intended target was personal. The man had torn through his entire house, breaking up everything with an axe, taken his dog into the garage, put him in the trunk and turned the car on. He intended to take his own life before the devices went off. 
One neighbor overheard the car engine in the garage and peered through the window. Seeing the man in his car, he thought he'd had a heart attack, so he broke in to find him conscious. When the neighbors smelled a strong whiff of gasoline and subsequently broke into the guy's house, discovering the mess he'd made, he called the police. A police squad showed up, disposed of the devices, but sadly the dog had passed away in the trunk. The blast range was estimated to destroy many surrounding houses, and the scary neighbor was taken into custody, convicted, and sentenced to life in a ward. Be grateful for this nosy neighbor. This could have ended much worse. Number 12. The Red Ball Elderly neighbors are supposed to offer you cookies and hard candies from their pockets, not take your baseballs. Redditor Freedom Moon tells the story of a neighbor who lived two houses away. The neighborhood children would play ball at the nearby playground, which was next door to this old woman's house. Sometimes the balls would get away from them and find their way into the woman's front yard. They were all afraid of the old lady because her behavior was so strange when she left her house. They'd ask their parents to retrieve the balls for them whenever they entered her yard but the children's parents never did. Why? The Redditor explains, My dad told me that when he went up there, he walked in and shouted if anyone was home. He saw a giant box full of retrieved balls which were covered in God knows what, like some red slimy thing. The dad raced out of there, shouting an apology behind him. Freedom Moon still gets the creeps whenever he sees the woman's house and he wonders what might have happened if one of them had entered. According to his mom, the woman took her own life there sometime afterwards. Number 11. The Neighborhood Nightmare There's rather benign neighborly creepiness, then there's all out creepy. One of the latter variety spent probably his life savings to mount security cameras, motion activated sensors, and a bright orange fence around his house. If that's not enough, this 45-year-old wore a hockey mask and black clothing when mowing his lawn and would spotlight people's homes and passing drivers at night with strobe lights and lasers, not to mention shout aggressively at passers-by. This went on for nearly five years, and it's just the tip of the iceberg. He allegedly made threats admitted to watching two of his female neighbors and specifically targeted certain neighbors and his actions apparently led to a dog losing its life. This dog owner subsequently put his house up for sale, but the neighbors scared realtors away, seemingly relishing in what he did to this poor man. Instead, the man donated his home to his church, but others did not go so unscathed. In fact, he ran over one man named Tony who lived a couple blocks away. Unsurprisingly, this neighbor had violated a previous protective order where he last lived. His discovered armory and brutal campaign on his neighbors cost him 40 years behind bars. Looks like he didn't get out unscathed either. Number 10. The Pie It's always nice when your neighbors welcome you to the neighborhood by baking you an apple pie. But Redditor Colon Divers shares a story of one not-so-nice pie that'll turn your stomach. The Redditor lived in a bad apartment complex while in college with a dirty neighbor in his late 40s. The initial introduction to this guy was creepy in every sense of the word. The neighbor saw him and offered him pie, as you do upon first sight of meeting someone. Being that the guy was so dirty, the Redditor didn't want anything from this guy, but the neighbor insisted, so the Redditor obliged. Rule number one, never oblige. The dude led him through the house to his bedroom. No lights were on, and he didn't turn any on. Just immediately walked the guy to his room. The little light in the room glowed from his bedroom TV, which revealed a rusted large blade lying on the ground beside the door. In the Redditor's words, he wouldn't let me leave without taking a bite and basically forced a fork in my mouth. Unfortunately, the story ends there. I hope we get to hear more about this scary neighbor at some point in the future. This also just goes to show it's never a good idea to accept food from strangers, even if they are your neighbors. Number 9. Australian Outback 
This one should probably have had child services called on them a long time ago. Redditor Level 1 shares the tale of her crazy neighbors who lived across the street and allegedly treated their children horribly. In the Redditor's own words, they would regularly lock their children out of the front of their house. Now this is outback Australia, where temperatures would regularly reach 40 to 45 degrees. The kids would be screaming and crying out the front. That's a high of 113 degrees in Fahrenheit. In fact, police were called on the regular, but it usually ended with the kids being brought back in and then put back outside once the police were gone. The mother would also come outside to shoutingly plead across the yard with the Redditor's mom to be her friend. She was later committed to a psychiatric hospital, and hopefully the kids are doing better now. Number 8. Revenge Gone Psycho You live in a lovely neighborhood, safe streets, beautiful lawns, basically a live-action Pleasantsville. There's just one thing wrong. You have psychotic neighbors. This entry is about a neighbor who sought revenge, although it was her own daughter who started the one-way feud. The neighbor girl, who we'll call Laura Chamberlain, was invited over by Kendall Holloway's daughter to play. Only Laura's idea of playing was to douse her host's hair in nail polish. Kendall talked to Laura's mother about the conflict, and her response was to harass the Holloway family for five straight years. This harassment manifested in many forms, including taunting Kendall, who was recovering from a drinking problem by saying she should have passed away. While this is terrible enough, a restraining order was only granted when Chamberlain drove a remote-controlled car into the Holloway son's birthday party while shouting. This didn't stop the scary neighbor. The Holloways took her to court for violating her restraining order. While Chamberlain cited First Amendment, claiming she did not violate the restraining order of crossing over to the Holloway's property. Unsurprisingly, that didn't stand, and Chamberlain was given 90 days behind bars, along with years of probation, for which she could not be within a mile of the Holloway's property, meaning she was no longer their neighbor. That's one scary neighbor who got what she deserved. Number 7. Operation Penguin if you've ever played Ding Dong Ditch, then you know that sometimes it doesn't end very well. Redditor the Keebler shares his tale of the constant feuding with the neighbor, who he and his friends dubbed the Penguin. The Penguin was a very round man, around 5 foot 11 and 345 pounds. When the Redditor was around 11 years old, he and his friend Trayvon let his dog outside to do his business. While they were playing a video game, they heard a blast. Curious, they went outside to see what was going on. At first, it seemed nothing was happening. Then they heard the dogs whimper. The boys found him passing away in the neighbor's yard. Thus began many hijinks and operations, starting with Operation Penguin and Ding Dong Ditching. They were determined to anger the penguin, and they did, but still, it was not enough. Operation Fireworks commenced around the 4th of July. They lit all the fireworks they could gather off right outside the penguin's house. It ticked him off even more, and he came outside hollering at them. They raced back to the house, only to come up with one more plan, Operation Doorstep. In the Redditor's own words, what we did made him so mad. It was told his roar was heard from his penguin brethren around the globe. This operation ruined his new shoes in a yellow puddle on his doorstep. That was the end of the operations on the penguin. I think it's pretty understandable why the group was doing this. After what the man had done to his dog, it just goes to show that feuds never end well for either party involved. Number 6. The Crazy Ant Sometimes your crazy neighbors aren't strangers, they're your relatives. Pumpkin Muffin Cat 95 offered up this intriguing story of her next door neighbor aunt. Pumpkin and her family moved into the house with her grandma 10 years prior, as it was the childhood home of her father and of the crazy aunt in question. The aunt copied house keys at some point while claiming to fill grandma's car with gas. 
With that house key, she'd sneak into the house in the middle of the night and take stuff, and it was weird stuff. In Pumpkin's words, we didn't notice for a while, but then our new shampoo bottles would be empty suddenly, our paper towels and toilet paper would be gone, our food, silverware, and cups would be gone. It didn't end there, though. The crazy aunt also allegedly tried to take her sister-in-law's jewelry, which the family found on the stairs from the bedroom, likely dropped by accident on the way out. Finally, Pumpkin caught her aunt in the act. At 2.30 in the morning, she heard someone come up the stairs and enter her parents' bedroom. The person stomped on up and was not sneaky about it whatsoever. She thought it was her parents, but a moment later, she heard the person descend the stairs again. The following morning, Pumpkin's parents asked her if she'd entered their room. The answer, of course, was no. Their guard dog was so used to the crazy ant entering the house that he hadn't made a peep. After that, they changed the locks and fitted a door on the staircase that required a code. Still, this didn't stop her. Although she couldn't enter their bedrooms anymore, she still managed to get another key made and would enter their house in the morning before they woke up. After their alarms would go off, they'd hear the door slam and they'd often see her out the window hurrying back to her house. After they changed the locks a second time, the crazy aunt no longer broke into their home that they know of. Number 5. The Mastermind Sometimes your scary neighbor is scary for a reason. Redditor Decker87 shared his experience with a neighbor with whom he'd had more than his fair share of frightening episodes, one of which involved the neighbor taking from his shed and approaching him with a knife. Decker's post includes a Daily Mail article about the neighbor in question, which goes into detail about a former nuclear scientist and mastermind contestant Martin who left his job in 1992 and had been a recluse ever since. The man, who'd been a lead physicist for two decades at the Atomic Energy Agency in Oxfordshire, had a conflict with his boss, abandoned his position, and then suffered a breakdown after his wife went into care and he was left completely alone without financial support. Martin took to breaking his possessions, taking bicycles, lighting fires in his garden, and was even locked up for various infringements. When he was sentenced, District Judge Booker told the former physicist, I can see quite easily you'll be in front of me again in the future, to which Martin responded, it's 72% certain. While this might sound funny, some of his episodes are devastating, including attempts at taking his own life and smashing everything in his home except a photo of his departed wife. Decker says, I lived there nearly 20 years and seen him slowly degenerate into what he was a few years ago, so I'm generally sympathetic to him. While some might have mixed feelings about this case, most in the Reddit community agree that this Redditor is a good neighbor and that mental health should not be ignored. Number 4. Future Man Sometimes neighbors aren't so much terrifying as they are supremely odd. Redditor Leg 17 has one of those. He and his wife live in Chicago, and they often see this neighbor in the courtyard of their building, who definitely stands out from the crowd. They call him Future Man. The 6 foot 7 inch tall, 275 pound man wears sunglasses at night and doesn't walk. At least Sea Legs has never seen him walk. Future Man has no time to slow down for you or anyone else. He drives through traffic like he owns the place. He does not observe traffic lights or stop signs. He doesn't speak or acknowledge anyone. Well, not never. The Redditor did admit that Future Man gave him a head nod recently and even a fist sign five whole years after he moved into the complex. Although the man still said nothing at all, the acknowledgement filled sea legs with glee, and why wouldn't it? Who wouldn't want approval from future man? Number 3. Evil Babysitters Redditor I'm not a crazy person's parents entrusted their scary neighbors with babysitting, and they shouldn't have. The Redditor describes her neighbors Kathy and Bill 
as both creepy and sad and a little evil too. Emphasis is on the evil. First of all, Kathy was incredibly nosy and would spy on them through the hedges, listen in on their conversations, and even call to see what had happened. If she heard a particularly juicy argument going on next door, when they babysit her and her brother, they preferred her brother and would punish her for it. They'd strike with a wooden spoon and tell her, you are so wicked and evil, all while giving her brother special treatment and ice cream. In the Redditor's own words, eventually it got so bad I just refused to go over there anymore and my mom allowed me to stay home by myself after school. Lucky for her, sounds like the situation could have gotten much darker. Number 2. The Cat Food Consumer This one's short, creepy, and to the point. Submitted to Reddit by Slick Papleon, the Redditor writes of his neighbor who enjoys feeding stray cats. Well, that's nice and all. Listen to what he does afterwards. In the Redditor's own words, after he empties the food on their plate, he runs his fingers inside of the can and licks the remaining cat food off his fingers. Other Redditors commented on how bizarre and creepy this little action was, and I couldn't agree more. Don't know how I would feel about having this person as a neighbor either. Before we get to number one, my name is Chills and I hope you're enjoying my narration. If you're curious about what I look like in real life, then go to my Instagram at DylanIsChillinYT and tap that follow button to find out. It's a proven fact that generosity makes you a happier person, so if you're generous enough to hit that subscribe button and the bell beside it, then thank you. This way, you'll be notified of the new video we upload every Tuesday. Number 1. The Trespasser Here's yet another oddball that prefers creeping to ordinary human interaction. Redditor O'Quirk shares his tale of being a 25-year-old dude with a 45-year-old neighbor. The guy was pleasant enough, single and alone, so Quirk would invite him over to parties but he never came, and it seems there was a reason for it. As the Redditor tells it, one night I see someone jumping over my fence, waited a bit as I noticed they hid behind his barn, got out, took about 10 steps and said, I don't know who you are, but I will let you know I am armed. Moments later, he saw his neighbor race across to his own back door, so he went over and knocked and asked what he was doing. The man played dumb and said he had no idea what he was talking about. Being a nice neighbor, the Redditor said if he wanted to hang, he could call him, but the man continued to deny his actions and also started insulting him. They never spoke again, and the neighbor was super creepy afterwards. I think it might be time to move. Thanks for checking out this video. Be sure to subscribe because we upload new countdowns every Tuesday and Saturday. Or if you're still not convinced, here are some of our other videos that I think you'd like. Enjoy!